Good evening, everyone. This is Robert RJL518 welcoming you to another exciting edition of Inside Pitch, the 1976 season. Today's date is June 27th of 76, and we are at Royal Stadium for a game tonight between the California Angels and the Kansas City Royals. The Angels come into this game five games under 500, 34 and 39. The Royals are one game under 500, 33 and 34. The Royals right now are in third in the AL West. The Angels are in fourth right behind them, as a matter of fact. Uh, they're, they're right behind them. The Royals have the third spot by percentage points, even though the Angels have one more win than the Royals do. Steeler fan is first to join us here at Royal Stadium. Welcome, sir. So we got a good game tonight, hopefully. Should be a nice little American League West matchup as the Angels take on the Royals. The Royals right now look like a better. They are playing much better now. They're getting in from this from the 10-minute ticker. The Angels are not out of it by any means. As I said, they have a win over the Royals, but with at 33 and 34. And with the Royals have 67 games, the Angels have played 73 games, actually. And that is why the Angels are behind the Royals in the, uh, in the standings by percentage points. We'll see what happens tonight. Uh, Kansas City historically won this game 5-4. to four. There were 13 hits and three errors combined in the game. So let's see how this game will go tonight. Good matchup, I hope. Starting pitcher for the Kansas City Royals will be Steve Busby. Three wins, three losses, a 4-4-0 ERA. He gets the call tonight for the Royals. And we shall see as how things go tonight. The Halos are up first. Let's go to the top of the first. And leading off for the Angels will be left fielder Dave Collins. 263 average, four homers, 28 RBIs in 76. We are ready to go. We are using blue and white dice as the Royals are the home team. Let's play some baseball. Busby, a 5-6. That's a wild pitch. We'll do it again. 6-5 this time against a switch hitter left. That's a walk chance. That 7 will walk Collins. And it will be a leadoff walk. Collins will head to first. Royal Stadium subtracts four from strikeouts and one from walks. So there, might, there may not be that many strikeouts today at Royal Stadium, but we shall find out. The infield will move to halfway. Next batter for the Angels will be second baseman Jerry Remy. 263 average, no homers, 28 RBIs. Let's see if anything happening on the bases. A 16 says no. Peter Burge joins us here at Royal Stadium. Busby will pitch. And that's a 1-1. One, one. That's a walk chance. And that 6 is going to walk Remy. So Busby comes on for Kansas City. And he walks the first two batters he faces. Next up for the Angels, first baseman Dan Briggs. 214 average, a homer. 14 RBIs in 76, played about half the games that year. Anything on the bases? No. Busby already in a little bit of a jam here in the top of the first. Busby will pitch. 5-2. That's an automatic out. That's always a help. A star five, and that's going to be a grounder to short. Let's see if they turn the double play. Three. Wow, a minus two for a double play. Ugh. Three, one, two. Second base for Kansas City is white, and he has a zero. So a one to two with the double play, and they get it. They get the double play, so Collins will advance to third. And there are two outs as uh, Busby gets the pitcher's best friend. And that is a 6-4-3 double play. Next up for the Angels will be their designated hitter, Bill Melton, 208 average, six homers, 42 RBIs. There are now two outs. Anything happening on the bases? A 17 is a no. Busby will go ahead and pitch. 3-5 against a righty. That's a blank. Melton will swing. 1-3. Fly ball to left field, and that will end it. So it started kind of promising for the Angels, but they come away empty-handed. Only two walks, no runs, and no hits. And we will go to the bottom of the first. 
Starting pitcher for the California Angels will be Don Kirkwood. Six wins, 12 losses, a 4-6-2 ERA. And we'll see what he has tonight. Bottom of the first, leading off for the Royals will be right fielder Jim Wolford, 249 average, a homer, 24 RBIs. He isn't, he's multi-positional, but he is in right field tonight. Wolford will pitch. 3-4. That's a walk. That 15 is going to be too high. Wolford will swing 5-3, and he grounds it right back to Kirkwood for out number one. Tosses it over to first. Next up for the Royals, center fielder Amos Otis. 279 average, 18 homers, 86 RBIs, a good player. That's a good year for Otis. Kirkwood will go ahead and deal. 5-1, that's a walk. The 18 is high. Otis will swing 4-4. Four, four. Base hit, pass sec, pass short. And that's going to be a single for Otis. He will go ahead and hold at first. And it will bring up this guy. And that would, of course, be third baseman George Brett. 333 average, seven homers, 67 RBIs. A young, uh, well, not really. George Brett just entering his prime. He only had seven homers that year, but he was still killing the baseball. The infield will go halfway. Otis, let's see, he's got an attempt of four. A five or less, Otis can steal. That's a 17 and no. Kirkwood will go ahead and pitch. One five, that's a walk. That nine is going to be too high. Brett will get to swing. Five five, and that's a base hit to right field. That's a single. Otis's base running rating is a four. Single to right, plus two, plus two is a six. Right fielder for California is Jones. He has a zero. So Otis will automatically make third without a throw. So the Royals have men on the corners. That will bring up the first baseman, John Mayberry. 232 average, 13 homers, 95 RBIs. Almost 100 RBIs that year in 76 for KC. The infield is still going to play halfway. They're going to maybe try for two. Otis's base running rating is a four. Becomes a three with the infield back, with the infield halfway. So I am probably he is gonna he is gonna go on a grounder. Let's first see if anything happening on the bases. A 19 says a no. Kirkwood will pitch. One, two, that's a blank. Mayberry swings. Six, five, star two, and that is a ground ball to third. Otis is coming home. They're gonna try for two. Double play ratings of two, zero, three, second base for Kent. Second base for California is Remy. He has a zero. A one to three, they get out of the inning. Yes, they do. They turn the double play, and that will retire the side. A five, four, three double play. So the Royals have think something going on, but they can't get a run in, but no runs on two hits. As the double play comes through for Kirkwood and keeps this no score after one. Good call to try to keep to try to play for the double play. And it worked out very well. Second inning up coming up. Leading off for the Halos will be Bob Jones. He is in right field for this game. 211 average, six homers, 17 RBIs. Busby will go ahead and pitch. 5-5. Five, five. That's a double question mark. A lefty, a 1 to 20 is an automatic out. That's a 19. Wouldn't matter. That is an automatic out. That's just going to be a fly out the left. So one out there. And now here's Ron Jackson. Jackson is at third base for this game. 227 average, eight homers, 40 RBI. Busby, 2-1, strikeout, seven. No, that's too high. Royal Stadium takes four away from the strikeouts. Jackson will swing 4-5, and that's a ground out to short. So now two down, and here's the center fielder, Rusty Torres. 205 average, six homers, 27 RBIs. Busby will come up and pitch. 
three six range play at the park. Royal Stadium says one three. That's a ball hit the right right field. That is a six, and that is a possible single. But it is a range play, and that is hit to Jim Wolford in right. His range is a three. Does he take away a single? No, he doesn't. That will drop in for the hit. Torres will get his swing, and he will hold at first. So a base hit for Torres. As Tribe Fan 879 joins us here at Royal Stadium. Next up for the Angels will be the shortstop, Mario Guerrero, 284 average, a homer, 18 RBIs. He's at short for this game. Anything happening on the bases? No. Busby will go ahead and pitch. And that's a 5-6. Wild pitch, that 12 is too high. Ball one. They'll do it again. Busby looking in. A 3-1. That's a home run chance. Guerrero is a... a Busby is a righty. A 1-3 for a Guerrero would be a home run, but that's a 15. It is too high. Guerrero will swing 4-1, and he just flies out to center. So he does have a deep fly ball to center field, but Otis has room to make the catch, and that will end the inning. One hit for the Angels, but that is all. We go to the bottom of inning number two. Leading off for the Royals, left fielder Hal McRae, 332 average, eight homers, 73 RBIs, an excellent year for McRae. He was an MVP uh, vote receiver. Kirkwood will go ahead and pitch to McRae. 6-6, six, six, strikeout, 15, not a chance. McRae will swing, 3-5, and he grounds it back to Kirkwood. And that's out number one. He'll throw it over to first, of course. Next up for the Royals will be their designated hitter, Tony Saleda, and he's going to be uh, traded to California later in the year. That's why he's wearing an Angels uniform. 261 average, 9 homers, 42 RBIs. Saleda is at DH for the Royals in this game. Kirkwood will pitch. 6-2, strikeout 19, no way. Saleda will swing, 1-2, star 6, and he flies out to right. Two outs. And here is the second baseman, Frank White. 229 average, two homers, 46 RBIs. Kirkwood will go ahead and pitch. 2-6 against a righty. Strikeout, 15, no. White will swing, 3-6, and he grounds it back to Kirkwood. So Kirkwood's going to make two putouts to in this inning. He'll throw to first, and it's one, two, three, go the Royals. After two, no score. Third inning coming up for the Halos. Here is the catcher, Terry Humphrey, 245 average, a homer, 19 RBIs. Busby will go ahead and deal. And 4-2, error on a throw. Humphrey, 5-2. That's a ball hit to left field. That is a 13 against a righty. That's going to be too high, and that's just going to be a fly out the left. And, of course, there is no error there, so one out. Next up is Collins. Collins walked his first time up. Busby will pitch. 2-2, two -two, strikeout 15, no. Collins will go ahead and swing, 6-4, and he grounds out to short. That's picked up by Patek. He'll throw it over to first for the out. And that is two down. And now Jerry Remy. Remy walked his first time up as well. Busby will pitch, 1-4, strikeout, 18, uh-uh. Remy will swing, 5-6, and he grounds it back to Busby. And Busby will take it. He'll throw it over to first for the out. Wow. Pitchers are getting a lot of put out so far. That is the fourth play of the game where the pitcher has made the put out, or I should say the assist, to first base. Sitting over for the Angels as they don't get anything going on. 
One, two, three, goes Cali, and we'll go to the bottom of the third. For the Royals, here's the shortstop, Freddie Patek, 241 average, a homer, 43 RBIs. Patek is ready to de ready to swing. Kirkwood, here is the pitch, 4-1, that's blank. Patek will swing, 6-4, and he grounds it back to Kirkwood. He's got it and throws to first for the out. And that is the fourth hit. By the Royals to the pitcher. They're not nobody's hitting the ball hard tonight. That's out number one. Here's the KC catcher, Buck Martinez, 228 average, five homers, 34 RBIs. Kirkwood getting a lot of glove work, and so now and Busby made his first one earlier. Kirkwood's pitch, one three, strikeout eleven, no. Martinez will swing 2-4, and that is a star six. He'll fly out the right. And we got two outs. And the batter now would be Jim Wolford. Wolford grounded out to the pitcher his first time up, so he is 0 for 1. Kirkwood with the pitch. 2-5, strikeout 9, nope. Wolford will swing 5-5. Five, five. He flies out the center, and that is another 1-2-3 inning. So three quick innings in the books, and we got no score. Top of the fourth. And here is Dan Briggs. Briggs is 0 for 1. Busby ready to pitch. 2-2. Two, two. Strikeout. 2. Yes, that will finally be a strikeout. He gets Briggs. Strikeout number 1 for Busby. He only had 29 strikeouts in 76, so not a hard thrower at all. So that's out number 1. Here's the DH, Bill Melton. Melton is 0 for 1 as well. Busby ready to deal. 6-2, that's a blank. Melton will swing. 2-2, two, two, star six. He flies out to center. And that is the second out. And here is Bob Jones. Jones is 0 for 1. Busby ready to deal. 1-2, walk plus 10. Yeah, that one will definitely send Jones, and that will be a walk. Issued by Busby. And that is the third walk issued by him. He had 48 walks that year. He actually had more walks than strikeouts. But then again, he only start only had 13 starts. We didn't get many starts, though. So runner on first for the Angels. Here is Ron Jackson with two outs. Jackson is 0 for 1. See if anything happening on the bases. A four or, a four or lower. Jones has a chance to steal. No. Busby will go ahead and pitch, and that's a 5-1. That's a walk. That 18, though, is high. Jackson will swing away, and that's a 1-5, and he grounds it to short. Up with it will be Patek, and he's going to throw to second to get Jones, and the inning will end. A walk is all California gets, but it remains 0-0. As we go to the bottom of the fourth. Leading off for the Royals will be Amos Otis. Otis has a single his first time up. He is one for one. My base, my basement media productions joins us here at Royal Stadium. As he says, best baseball sim on YouTube. Thank you very much, uh, M, uh, MBMP. I'm going to just shorten you that. Welcome you there, sir. Kirkwood will go ahead and pitch to Otis. And that is a 5-2. That is a error chance. Otis will swing. 5-2, star 3. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. Mario Guerrero's error rating is an 18. That's a 4. That's going to be an error. Otis is going to make first. That is an E6 on Guerrero 
First error on the Angels. And as much as, and as much as, of course, as my basement media productions wants to say I'm the best baseball sim, I can't, I can't, I, I can't take the credit for it. Got to check out some of those other great channels out there, such as Al Red Sox fan. You got to check out baseball demos. They know their stuff as well. Matter of fact, I wouldn't have done it without those guys, actually. But I do thank you very much for the honor. So Otis is on at first. The infield will move to half, and the batter will be George Brett. Not somebody you want up if you're the Angels right now. That is a tough error. Uh, California historically had two errors in this game. Otis has got a good steal rating, so a five or lower, he can steal. A 17 is a no. Uh, Brett will not bunt, so Brent's going to swing away. Kirkwood will pitch. 3-3, three, three, that's a blank. Brett will swing. Two, six, star five. He flies out to center. Wow, nobody really hitting the ball hard. And that is out number one. And here will be John Mayberry. Mayberry grounded into double play his first, his first time up. Again, let's see a five or lower. Does Otis do anything? A 20. Kirkwood actually throws to first. And he is safe. Otis gets back. Kirkwood tried to pick him off, but Otis is safe there. Now he will pitch to Mayberry. Kirkwood looking into the, looking into the catcher. He will now throw. And that's a 6-5. That's at the park. Royal Stadium says 6-5. And that is grounded at the plate. That is a ground ball to the catcher. Uh, double play rating is 2. Kirkwood is a 0. The infield is half, but that doesn't matter because it's grounded at the plate. So the, the halfway is not going to matter on this one. So in this case, when you have a ground ball at the catcher, the ground ball double play rating doesn't mean anything. So it's just it's just the batter's ground ball double play rating only. So a one to two, and there is there is a pivot though. So Mayberry is a lefty, and that is being that the pivot man will be the shortstop. So there is pivot. So well, and that is who's the pivot here for California? That is Guerrero. He has a zero. A one to three, they'll still turn this double play. Yes, they will. A two, six, three, double play, inning over. And you don't see that every day. You do not see that every day. But he got it. A two, six, three, double play. Inning over. So we have, let's see. So there was, so no runs, no hits. There is an, there was an error. And after four, no score. I hope Chris will consult your rewriting his inside pitch book. He and I are talking daily, pretty much. I have already helped him rewrite the, uh, helped him rewrite the charts. I am using the new beta charts that he is, that he is using. I helped him do some work with the charts. I add him to add a few things. A couple of ideas was the was the new pop was the new pop up rules for for failed range plays. Uh, the ideas of uh, no throws or runs of differentials. I some of the ideas he did take. Some I did. Some he didn't. Which I said is fine. It's his game. But he has taken a lot of my suggestions and suggestions from others too, not just from me. Uh, some other player, um, other great players such as John Brewer who did an annotated rules for his rule book. Uh, he took some ideas. He's taking many ideas from everyone to make this really his final revision. So uh, he, he, he got, you really, you got to really love, you really got to love Chris. All right. Who is willing to ask his customers what they want in his game. Not everybody does that. I can name a few, but I won't, but you guys already know who that is. And which guys listen to the customers and which guy, which companies don't. Bob's Tabletop Sports joins us here at Royal Stadium. Let's go to the top of the fifth. We got no score here. Busby will be pitching and leading off for the Halos will be Rusty Torres. He's one for one. He's singled his first time up. Busby will pitch. And 6-1. That's a possible error. Torres will swing to six, and against the righty, that's going to be a fly ball to right field. That's it to Wolf, to Jim Wolford. 
His error rating is a zero, so there's not going to be an error there. So that's just out number one. So one out, and the batter will be Guerrero. Guerrero made an error in the in the field in the fourth inning. Uh, he is 0 for 1. Busby will pitch, and that's a 5-1. That's a walk. That 15, not a chance. Guerrero will swing, 3-5. Base hit right past Busby through the box. That's a single one, and Guerrero will go to first. So Guerrero makes up a little bit for that error for getting a single. And that will bring up Humphrey. Humphrey is 0 for 1. The infield will move to half. Looking for the double play. And they really need and they really need to because Busby is a minus two double play rating. Ugh. Which means not many, not many, um, not many, what you call it, not many uh, you know, double plays, I guess. You have the printed version three charts on cardstock. I'm constantly printing them on paper. Because he's constantly changing them. So until they are official, okay, as when he put, starts putting them laminated is when I'll go ahead and stop doing that. Because he's, he's changing his charts practically every other day. Because he wants to change them, make them neater, have more information on it. That's what, like I said, he wants that. He wants what his, cust he wants what his customers want, at least in terms of making the game easier to understand and play. Some customers might not like some of the ratings he does, and there are some, even I have some discrepancies on the ratings, but I figure he does the, the choices he makes on the ratings is due to his game engine. If that's the case, I have nothing to say. Guerrero is on first, Humphrey at the plate. Uh, no chance of a steal, but there is a chance of a pickoff, and that's not happening with a nine. Busby will go ahead and pitch. 4-4. Four, four. Strikeout. 4. Yes, that will get Humphrey. Struck him out. And that is strikeout number 2 for Busby. That's a big K. Strikeouts are hard to come by in Royal Stadium. Here's Dave Collins. Collins is 0-1. for 1. Guerrero on it first. We'll see if there's anything happening. That is a 9. No. Busby will go ahead and pitch. 3-3. Three, three. Strikeout 6. Yep, he got him. He strikes out Collins. Third strikeout for Busby, and he gets out of it. So no runs and a hit. For the Angels, we are halfway through the game. Still no score. Still no score with some of the high-scoring games I've had lately. A 0-0 a, a zero, zero tie going into the bottom of the fifth. Kind of welcome. Kind of welcome. And Steeler fan goes ahead and gives me some kudos. Thank you, sir. Remember, guys, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have fans like you. I mean, if nobody showed up, I probably wouldn't be doing this stuff. I know if nobody showed up at all, I would. I don't think I'd be doing it. But you guys have kept me going. Uh, it's been tough. I'm still out of work. Hopefully, I'll be working again here shortly. I wish I got paid for this. I really wish I did. But, um, you know, thanks to you guys. And I got to thank, you know, Baseball Demos because he really brought me into inside pitch. I was starting, I started with payoff pitch. And I still love payoff pitch, all right, even though I don't play it as much now because I love inside pitch. It's a lot more, in, it's a lot more deeper and, in my opinion, the most exciting game you could play. The real kudos has got to go to Al Red Sox fan who I watched one day and saw he was having fun. So I said, let me try it. And, of course, ID Jester. And because he also gave me the reviews that I needed. And, uh, you know, so many other great players out there. Uncle Ron from Retro Sports Network. Uh, Dave Gardner, who does hot, who's, the, who's a hockey master. Got to thank so many people out there. I, there's, just so, there's, so, there's just all my subscribers. Just got to thank them all. Let's go to the bottom of the fifth. Still no score. Like I said, I've had a lot of high scoring games lately. And we got a 0 0 tie going in the bottom of the fifth. Here's Hal McRae. McCray is 0 for 1. Kirkwood's still pitching pretty well. Both pitchers are pitching pretty well. 1-5, Kirkwood. That's a walk. That 15, yeah, that's going to walk McCray. He just barely gets it. A minus 1 from Royal Stadium makes it a, six, a 15, but he'll get it. 
and McCray draws a walk. And that's the first walk issued by Kirkwood. He only had 48 of them in uh, 76. Here's Tony Salata. McCray on it first. Let's see. A five or lower could be a steal chance. Nope. Nothing happening there. Kirkwood will go ahead and deal. And that's a 1 1 error on a grounder. Salada will swing 5-5, five, five, and that is a ground ball to first. Now, it's no longer a – well, actually, it is a ground ball. That's a ground ball to first. I thought it was a single three. My bad. Ground ball to first. That ball is hit to Briggs. His error rating is a four. That's an 18. He will not make an error. Let's see if they turn the double play. Two, zero, three. Shortstop for California is Guerrero is a zero. A one to three, it's a double play. No, it is not. McCray actually will make it to second. It was a slow rolling grounder, so the only play was to get Salata at first. And that's pretty big because the way this game is going right now, any runs may be at a premium. So McCray goes to second, runner at scoring position. The infield is back, and the batter is Frank White. Yes, I know, Bob's Tabletop Sports. The only reason why he can't do the back seasons is because the information he's looking for is not available. That being said, he is working, he is thinking of doing a substitute system to do the earlier seasons. I told Chris, if you could do, if you could get some dead ball seasons, such as 1919, 1921, 1908, 1927. If you can get some of those seasons, all right, into the into inside pitch, they will fly off the shelves. You know, I told I told him that, and he is considering a substitute system in order to get it to work. Remember, he uses pitch by pitch stats in order to make the pitching cards. The batting cards are easy. I've made batting cards. I can make a batting card. All right, but the pitching cards are a lot more difficult. So he has so he is working on a substitute if he wants to do that. And he says he does want to, because I told him those dead ball seasons and the 20s and the 30s would fly off the shelf. He would have to he would have to buy a complete warehouse full of toner since he does his own printing. Oh, uh, here's Frank White, McCray on its second. There's still one out. Let's see if anything happening on the bases. That is a 14 no. Kirkwood will pitch. 6-1. Uh, that's a blank. He is not tired. White will swing. 6-2. That's a ball hit to right field. That is a four against a righty. Frank White has a single. That is a base hit for Frank White. McCray's base running rating is a three. Single to right plus one is a four. Right fielder for California is Jones. He has a zero. A one to four. McCray will score. That is a two when he does. McCray will score. White will hold it first. And the Royals finally break through and take a 1-0 lead. Stadium cheers. Yay! RBI single by Frank White. And now here's Freddie Patek. Patek is 0 for 1. White on it first. A good threat to steal. Uh, 7 or lower can do it. And that is a 17. No, nobody's getting leads off the bases today. Although Pot, although that 17 does allow Patek to bunt. Uh, but I'll let him hit away. There's one out. Kirkwood will pitch. 6-4. That's a blank. Patek will swing for three. Line out to first base. That is caught by Briggs. And the question is, is there going to be a double play? And Frank White is double. Frank White is doubled up on a one to four. No, he gets back. Holy cow. White gets back. So we'll line out to first, but White's safe there. And there are two outs. Oh, boy, a six, and he got back. A one to four, he is out, and a six, he got back. Here's Buck Martinez. Martinez is 0 for 1. Check again to see if anything happening. A five. 
Uh, let's see. Do I want to steal here? White's a 13. Kirkwood's a minus two would be 11. Now I'll let Martinez. It's two outs. So I'll let Martinez swing. Kirkwood, one, two. That's blank. Martinez will swing. Three, five. Base hit. Pass first. Single for Martinez. White's base running rating is a three. On a single pass first, yeah, he will make he will make a third base easily. And Martinez holds it first. So a single for him keeps the inning alive. A chance now for Jim Wolfer to try to bring in some more runs for Kansas City. Brian Patterson joins us here at Royal Stadium. Good to have Mr. Patterson here. Good to have everybody here. Let's see. Wolford is 0 for 2. Royals have a good chance here to get a run, get some more runs. They lead 1-0. Let's see what Wolford can do. Kirkwood, uh, there's still a strat roll. Let's see if what's happening here. That's 6, and that is a nothing happening. Kirkwood will pitch. That's a 6-4. That's a blank. Wolford will swing to 1. Line drive right to first, caught by Briggs, and that will end the inning. Couple of big lineouts do the job. But well, that does it. So one run on two hits for the Royals. And after five, they lead one nothing. Like I said, I've had a lot of high scoring games lately. A one nothing game here after five, a little refreshing. We go to the top of the sixth. Jerry Remy leads off for California. He's 0 for 1. Let's see. Busby still has some batters left in him, but he's getting up there. He can only pitch to 25. And Kirkwood the same as well before we have to worry about fatigue. Busby will pitch. 3-5. Against the lefty, that's a walk plus 10. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, that 17 is going to allow Remy to walk. He has an 8, plus 10 is 18, minus 1 is 17. A very close ball four, but Remy will trot to first. And that is the fourth walk issued by Busby in this game. So he having a little control issues. Here's Briggs. Briggs is 0 for 2. Infield will go half. Anything happening on the bases? Remy. Yeah, that's a three. Let's see. He's got a that's a, that's a per, that's is that's a steal attempt. Let's see. Remy's a 14 plus two is a 16. Martinez is a zero. Remy has an 80% chance to steal second. Yeah, we do that. On a one to 16, Remy is safe. Yes, he slides into second base. He steals it. Stolen base for Remy. He had 35 of them in 76, so he was a bit of a thief. Michael Peterson joins us here at Royal Stadium. So now we'll re-roll the strat again. This time, only a four or lower could do something for Remy. That is a one. Uh, do I want him to steal third? Briggs, 214 average. Does not hit very much, but I'll let him swing on this one. I will call that steal off. Remy will hold at second. Busby will pitch to Briggs. Four, five. Strikeout, six. Yep, got him. Struck him out. Strikeout number four for Busby, and that's one out. Of course, the infield is back. Next up is Bill Melton. Melton is 0 for 2. Let's see if that four or lower comes up again. And it does. And I'm going to send Remy this time. It's the same thing. A 1-16. to 16, Remy steals third. He's out. Oh, boy. Getting up out of the crutch is Buck Martinez. Throws to third. And Remy is gone. Wow. Got him out there. Two outs. Buck Martinez guns him down at third, an 80% chance. You always think that when it's like an 80, well, you need like a 1 to 16 or a 1 to 17, and you get an 18, a 19, a 20 on the die or something. Yeah, always. Two outs now. Belt Melton will now hit with nobody on base. Busby will pitch. 
6-1. That's an error chance. Melton will swing, 5-3. Ground ball to third. That ball is hit. That ball is hit to Brett. His error rating is an 11. That's a 12. He'll make the play. Throw to first inning over. Wow, what could have been. So that is no runs on no hits. A stolen a walk, a stolen base, but gun down at third. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Still one nothing here. Uh, who leads off? Leading off for the Royals will be Amos Otis. Otis is one for one, is one for two, singled and reached on an error. Kirkwood will pitch to Otis. Let's see how long he can go. Kirkwood five three double question mark. That seventeen is going to be too high, so that's a blank. Otis will swing 4-1, and he grounds out to second. One quick out there, and that will bring up Mr. George Brett. Brett is one for two, has a single in the game. Kirkwood ready to deal. 5-6 against the lefty. That's a base hit right back to the box. Brett will hold it first on a single. Second end of the game for Brett. And now John Mayberry, infield goes halfway. Mayberry is 0 for 2. He has hit into two double plays. Brett does have a steal chance, a 4 or lower. That 2, question is, do I want to do it? No, I'm going to, Brett could steal. He had 21 stolen bases. But in this case, I'm going to let Mayberry swing. Brett would have a 1 to 11 chance to steal. So I'm going to let Mayberry swing. For those of you who don't know, remember I use the strategy roll as a suggestion and it and tells me if the play is available. I can still call it off. Kirkwood will pitch. 1-1, one, one, error on a grounder. Mayberry swings, 5-4. That's a ground ball to second. That ball is hit to Remy. His error rating is a 6. That's a 10. There won't be an error. Let's see if they turn the double play. 2-0-3. Shortstop, Guerrero is a zero, a one to three. Mayberry hits into his third twin killing. Yes, he does. Inning over. Side retired. No runs and a hit for the Royals. John Mayberry has hit into three double plays, and he's hit it three different ways. A 5-4-3 in the first, a 2-6-3 in... A 2-6-3 in the fourth, and now a 4-6-3 here in the sixth. Mayberry cannot get a break. At the end of six, though, it's still one nothing in favor of the Royals. He's heading to three double plays, three different ways. How often does that happen? We go to the top of the seventh. Busby has three more batters he can face before tiring. Royal bullpen is ready to go. Bob Jones leads off for the Angels. He's 0 for 1. They're going to let Busby pitch and see how long he can go here. But the Royal bullpen is ready. Busby will pitch. 6-3. Error on a grounder. Jones will swing. 5-1. That's a ground ball to second base. That is hit to Frank White. His error rating is an 8. That's a two. White picks it up, and he just drops it. Jones is safe at first. And that's going to be an E4. Second, that is the first error on the Royals. They did have an error historically in the game. So Frank White commits an error and allows a base runner, so Jones is on at first. Busby can't believe it. Salvador America joins us here at Royal Stadium. As my as MBMP says, sometimes we all feel like, yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Baseball Demos joins us here at Royal Stadium. Mr. Dave, one of the main reasons why I decided to go inside pitch. Jones on it first. The batter will be now will be Ron Jackson. 
Yeah, guys, we've had lots of high-scoring games lately. We finally got a low one. We finally got a pitcher's duel in a while. Not a problem there, Salvador. Good luck to you. Good luck to the Bruins. I know they're down 0-1 to the to the Capitals and my Panthers. Same old Panthers in the playoffs. Can't win a can't win playoff games. Should have had that one last night. They blew that one big time to the Lightning. So let's see. Bottom of the let's see. Jones on it first. Nobody out. The infield halfway. Let's see if anything happening on the strat roll. That is an eleven. No. Busby will pitch to Jackson. Jackson is 0 for 2. Busby, 4 5. Strikeout, 18. Nope. Jackson will swing. 3 6. Star 1. Fly out the left. And that is the first out. Next up will be Rusty Torres. Torres is 1 for 2, has a single. G Puck joins us here at Royal Stadium. Runner on first. Let's see. A four or lower. Jones can try to steal. Nope. He stays where he's at. Busby will pitch. Four, three. Walk plus 10. That 14 easily. That will walk Torres. And now the Halos are in business. So that is a walk by Busby, and I believe that's a sixth. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, that's his fifth walk, and Busby is now tired, and they are not going to go with any further because a single one could come up. That will be it for Busby. The Royals will go to the bullpen. And coming on to bat for the Angels is Mario Guerrero. And I think they're going to go with a righty. So let's see who they want to go with here. Uh, coming on to pitch for the Royals will be Marty Patton. 8 wins, 14 losses, a 2.49 ERA. Marty Patton will come on to pitch here and will come on to pin, to uh, do some pitching. Mario Guerrero leads off for California. One out. Let's see if anything happening on the bases. That five is a negative. Patton will go ahead and pitch. Six, six. Range play. Haven't had many of those today. Guerrero, three, five. That's a base hit back to Patton. His range is a three. His range is a three. He's automatically considered that. There's no change on a rating to him. There's no range range. So a three or lower, Patton will make it. No, it gets by him through the box. That's a single for Guerrero as Patton couldn't make the play. Bob Jones's base running rating is a three. He will score from second. The game is tied. Torres's base running rating is a four. He will make third. Guerrero, an RBI single. So the error does come by to bite the Royals in the butt. And we're now tied at one. Next batter is Terry Humphrey. Humphrey is 0 for 2. That was Guerrero's second hit of the game. Infield is still going to play halfway. Because Patton does add to the double play rating. So they're going to play halfway. Torres' base running ratings of four becomes a three on a grounder. Maybe need Mingori. Yeah, I want to save him. So runners at the corners. A small cheer erupts at remote corner of Kauffman Stadium. Royal Stadium, not Kauffman Stadium yet. Although we did make the, game, make the team, though, but whatever. So runners at first and third. And am I rolling a strat? Yes, I am. See if anything happening. That is a four. Nothing for Torres or Guerrero, so no play. Patton will go ahead and pitch to Humphrey. Patton, a three, four. That's a blank. He's not tired. Humphrey will swing for six, and he grounds it to first. Torres is coming home. They're gonna try. They're gonna try for two. Two, three, four. Shortstop is Patek. He has no adjustment. A one to four. The Royals are out of the inning. 
No, it's a five. Guerrero will be thrown out at second. Humphrey will make first, but Torres will score, and the Angels take a two-to-one lead. Stadium groans. Ugh. Two to one Angels now. And that goes as a fielder's choice. But the run does come in, and there are now two outs as they could not get the double play as the Angels now have a two to one lead. And the next batter is Dave Collins. Collins is 0 for 2. Humphrey on it first. Let's see if anything happening on the bases. A six is a no. Patton will go ahead and pitch to Collins. 4-4. Four, four. Range play at the park. Royal Stadium will say 3-4. That's a ground ball to short. That ball is hit to Patek. His range is a four to make it. And he will make it. He's got it. He'll throw it a second to get Humphrey and then the inning. Two runs for the Angels on one hit and one big error in the in that inning. We are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing your take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back. As always, I tell you guys, don't forget about the 10-minute ticker coming up after the game. And tomorrow night, tomorrow night will be June 29th. It will be the last game in the month of June. And then, of course, I have a day off in between the months. So tomorrow night, we will be back. We will be at the Three Rivers Stadium. Tomorrow night, it will be the Chicago Cubs taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates. We have that game tomorrow. Both teams still trying to stay playoff relevant. In the, nation, in the National League East, it'll be Steve Renko against John Candelaria. The Candyman will be on the mound tomorrow night. So don't miss that game tomorrow. The Cubs and the Pirates. That should be fun to play, as they all are. Bottom of the seventh inning here, Angels lead 2-1. to one. The Angels, uh, let's see what we're going to do here. They got Kirkwood pitching. Hal McRae is the leadoff batter. Let's see if they want to have Kirkwood pitch. Kirkwood has three more batters he can face before tiring. He's going to pitch to uh, McRae. So bottom of the seventh, Kirkwood will pitch. Kirkwood with the pitch, 2-5, strikeout, 20, not a chance. McRae, 1-3, against the righty, that's a base hit, past second base. Single for McCray, and the Royals get the leadoff man on. McCray is now one for two. Baseball Demo says on the day off Wednesday will be the NBC Game of the Week 1982. The New York Yankees taking on the Detroit Tigers. Don't miss that on his channel uh, for the NBC Game of the Week 1982. Strat-O-Matic. McCray on first. And here's Tony Salata. Salata is 0 for 2. The infield will go halfway. McCray does have steal ability. And a 5 or lower, he gets a chance. A 4, yes. Now the question, do I want to do it? 13 minus 2 is 11. Uh, and Humphrey's a 0. Salata can hit. I'm going to call that off, and I'm going to let Salata hit. 
So steal is called off. Kirkwood will pitch. 1-4. That's a blank. Salata will swing. 5-4. Fly ball left field. Out number one. Kirkwood having one of his better games, obviously. He had a 4-6-2 ERA that year. Here's Frank White. White got an RBI. White, White got a single his last time up. He didn't get an RBI, but he did have a single. He is one for two. Let's see what happens now. And that is a 19. I'm not going to let White bunt, with, not with one out. So I'm going to let him swing. Kirkwood will pitch to White. And that is a 6-3. Range play. White will swing. 3-6. Ground ball back to Kirkwood. His range is a 5. It's a six. He can't get it. That's a base hit. That's the only way he would not have been able to make it. He gets a six. McCray's base running rating is a three, but he has to hold it second. It needs to be a four in order to get the third on a single one, on a single pass the pitcher. But another hit for White. And now runners at first and second. The batter is Freddie Potek. That will be all for Kirkwood. He is done. Pitched a heck of a game. But they got to go to the bench because Kirkwood is now tired. So let's see what they got. Right, right. I think the, the Angels will bring in a righty in the seventh inning. See who they want to bring in here. Uh, let's see. The Angel bullpen is meh. But they'll go with this guy. Coming on to pitch for the Angels will be Paul Hartzell. Seven wins, four losses, two saves, a 2.77 ERA. One of the better pitchers that's actually in the Angel bullpen, Paul Hartzell. So he'll go up against Patek. Runners at first and second. There is one out. Let's see what they're going to do here. I am rolling a strat. See if anything happening. A 10 is a no. Hartzell will pitch. And that's a 4-4. Strikeout 13. No, that is not a strikeout. Patek will swing. 2-4. Base hit. Pass second. That's a single for Patek. McCray's base running rating is a 3. He will score from second. This game is tied. White's base running rating is a 3. And he will make third. Patek comes through with a single, an RBI single, and we are tied at two. Stadium cheers. Yay! So Paul Hartzell tries to come in here and try to get out of the jam. Can't do it. And that is just too bad for Kirkwood because he pitched a heck of a game and he can't get the no – he's not going to be able to get the no decision. And if Frank White comes in, he's going to take – he'll wind up taking the loss. Busby is already off the hook. So bottom of the seventh here, runners at the corners. And here's Buck Martinez. Martinez is one for two. Let's see what they want to do here. And they're going to call – they're going to keep the infield halfway. It would be a one to three chance to get out of the inning. Frank White's base running rating is a three. It would be a two if it's a grounder. They're going to call the infield halfway. We'll see what happens if Frank White decides to come in. First, we got to do the pitch first to see if anything happening on the bases. That is a 12. No. That is a 12. No. Although, let's see. Wow, Patek has a 10. That is a 12. Martinez has a 13 against... Nope, nothing could happen. Hard sell will pitch. 5-1. Hit by pitch. Uh, he's got a plus 10, but Martinez has a 0, so that 13 is too high. Martinez will go ahead and swing away. 5-2 against a righty. That's a fly ball to center field. Fly out to center. That's out number two. Martinez is sacrificed. Fly rating is a two. Does he bring in White automatically? No. Now White will try to come in. His base running rating is a three. Fly ball. Fly out to center. That's Torres. He has a zero. He has a zero arm. And so White's going to try to come in. A one to three. White will score. Four to five. He holds. Six. Someone could be out. 
That is a five. He holds. Not deep enough for White to come in. And now two outs. And now the batter is Wolford. Wolford is 0 for 3 tonight. Runners at the corners. Hartzell trying to get out of this jam. We're tied at two. Wolford ready to swing. Let's see if anything happening on the bases. That is a 14 no. Hartzell will go ahead and pitch. 4-4. Four, four. Strikeout 10. No. Wolford will swing. 1-4. Fly ball center field. Inning over. One run. On three hits for Kansas City, and after seven, we're tied at two. Refreshing to have a game low scoring for once. We had a few high scoring games, well, a lot of high scoring games lately. That's the thing about inside pitch you never know what you're gonna get. It's like a box of chocolates, and my mom will get that. Got the new GDB supplement one card set. Oh, I gotta order that. I didn't even know it was e I didn't even know it was even out. I have to order it. Even though I don't play even though I haven't done a Glory Days boxing game yet since I've had it, I still purchase it just to go ahead and support Anthony. We go to the top of the eighth inning here. Jerry Remy leading off for the Angels, tied at two. Marty Patton. Let's see. He's got three more batters he can face before being tired, so he's going to pitch to Remy. So top of the eighth inning, Patton against Remy. Patton, a 2-3. That's a possible error. Remy will swing, 6-2. Star 5, that's a ground ball to the shortstop. That is Patek. His error rating is a 10. That's a 3. Patek tries to pick it up, and he throws wide of the bag, and that's going to be an error on Patek. Second error on Kansas City. That's an E6. Wow, another error on the on the Royals. And Remy is safe. Freddie Patek makes an error, throws wide of the bag. And Remy is safe at first. That could be huge. And Patton can't believe it. Now the infield will have to come in halfway. And here is Dan Briggs. Briggs is 0 for 3. <sighs> That's 214. Wonder if I want to pinch it. We are in the eighth inning. He is a good, he is a good third. He is a good first baseman, though. Let me see. Do I want to pinch it for him? Or do I want to or, or wait for a better chance? I'll wait for a better chance. We'll see if anything happening on the bases. And that is an 18. Briggs's bunt rating is a 2, so nothing happening there. So Patton will pitch. And that's a 5-5. Five, five. Against the lefty, that's a blank. Briggs will, Briggs will swing for 2. Star 2, he flies out to center. That's out number 1. And now the batter is Bill Melton. He's the designated hitter. I will pinch it for him. Because I don't lose the D8. So Bill Melton coming back. And coming on to pinch hit for the Angels will be Bruce Bakhti. Normally the star, uh, usually a starter, but he was on the bench for this game. 258 average, two homers, 49 RBIs. Bruce Bakhti will go up against Patton. There is one out. The infield is still halfway. Let's see if anything happening on the bases. That's a six. Uh, Remy's got a chance to steal here, and I think he's going to go. He's got a 7 plus 3 is a 10. 14 plus 2 is 16. Martinez has a 0. Martinez has already thrown out somebody. Remy's going to go a 1 to 16. He steals second base. He does easily. He slides in there standing up. That's the second stolen base for Remy. He's got two of them today. And that takes away the double play. 
Now we'll see if he gets a chance to steal third. That's why he was thrown out the last time. That's an eight. Nothing happening there. Remy will stay a second. And Bruce Bakhti will now bat with a runner and scoring position. Patton will pitch. And that's a 1-3. Home run question mark. Bakhti a lefty. A 1-13 to would pass. That is an 11. But against a righty, Bakhti has only a 3. There's no adjustment at Royal Stadium. A 1-3. to Bakhti hits one of the two homers he had that season. No, it's an 18 too high. But Bakhti will get the swing. 2-5. And he grounds it to second base. The throw will go to first. And that's out number two. Remy automatically gets the third. And Bakhti will take over at the DH spot. So he will take over at designated hitter. And I'll put that on the uh, score sheet here. So Bakhti will take over at DH. Remy is now at third. And the batter now for the Angels is Bob Jones. Jones is 0 for 2. Flew out and reached on an error. He did walk. Two outs. And Patton is now tired. So let's see what they're going to do here. And they're going to take Patton out, and they're going to bring in somebody else to pitch to Jones. You can't afford a, a fatigue result coming on. So let's see who they're going to bring in to pitch to Jones here for the Royals. Do I go with Mingori now? I'm going to say yeah. Here's Steve Mingori. Five wins, five losses, ten saves, a 2-3-2 ERA. Mingori will be the third Royals pitcher. Yes, he's still tinkering with the charts. He's not done yet by any means. He's not. He doesn't have to give himself a deadline. He can say when he's finished, remember he is. But no, he's not done with the charts yet. I still recommend you download them and play them. Because there's going to be some... I know you're using your Nationals replay with the old charts. It's really going to change that replay around a little bit. It's not going to mess with the stats mostly. Just game mechanics. But I know. But I think you said you were using them offline. So that's good. You're practicing with them. Steve Mingori will pitch to Bob Jones here. Two outs. Top of the eighth. Remy. The only way he could... I don't think he's going to try to steal home anyway. Not, nothing happening there. Mingori will go ahead and pitch. 2-6. That's a blank. He's not tired. Jones will swing. 5-6. And Jones gets a base hit to right field. The Angels will take the lead. Single to right. Jones comes through with a big hit to right field. Coming on to trot on home will be Jerry Remy. And the Angels now take a 3-2 to two lead. Stadium groans. Ugh. Another error leads to another angel run. And the batter now is Ron Jackson. Jackson is 0 for 3 with two outs. Let's see if anything happening. Jones does up the, well, Jones with a, let's see, he, it would be a zero attempt. You could have a hit and run. The only way to have a hit and run is a two or lower. Nope. Mingorian will go ahead and pitch. 1-1. One, one. Against a righty, that's blank. Jackson will swing. That's Sua Dice. I'll re-roll. Jackson swings. 1-1 one, one himself. Star 2. And that is a ground ball to first. And that will end the inning. One run for the, are the Angels on one hit. A stolen base and a huge error. We go to the bottom of the eighth. 3-2 to two, Halos. Do the Angels have any earned runs? You know what? I'm going to probably say... The error was done by jo on the first batter. Then there was a walk. 
Out of the three runs they've scored, only one is earned. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Amos Otis leads off for Kansas City. Paul Hartzell is going to stay out there. He's going to stay out there and pitch. He's got a good he's got a good ERA. He'll stay out there for a while longer here. Hartzell can still pitch to about here. Uh, let's see here. Hartzell had what? He pitched to six. No, he pitched to three batters. He's got. Eight left, so he can pitch to here. So Paul Hartzell will pitch to Amos Otis here. Bottom of the eighth, 3-2 Angels. Hartzell will pitch, 3-4. That's a blank. Otis will swing, 2-3. Fly out to center. That is out number one. That's the third error in this game, by the way, in the last inning. Historically, this game did have three errors, but it was the Angels that committed two and the Royals won. Here's George Brett. Brett is two for three. He has two singles. Hartzell will pitch. Four, three. That's blank. Brett gets the swing, and that's 4-3. That's a ball hit the left field. That is a 7. That's going to be a double for George Brett against the righty. Brett goes ahead and gets his third hit of the game. That's a double. Tying run in scoring position. And now here's John Mayberry. Mayberry's had a tough night. He is 0-3. for 3. All three of his outs are double plays. But with a runner on second, unless it's a line-out double play, I don't think he has to worry. Although he does have line-outs on his card. One out, Brett on at second. Let's see if anything happening on the bases. 16 says a no. Hartzell will pitch to Mayberry. That's a 5-1 hit by pitch. Three, yeah, he plunked them. He hits Mayberry. So Mayberry takes one for the team there, as Mayberry has a two, but Hartzell's a plus ten. So Mayberry is a hit batter, and he will go to first. And I know Hartzell didn't intend to do that because he just put the go-ahead run on base. And now here is a very dangerous Hal McRae. Runners at first and second. Hartzell's going to pitch to McRae. The infield is halfway, looking for two. Is there anything happening on the bases? An 11 says no. One out, bottom of the eighth, 3-2 Angels. Hartzell will pitch. That's a 2-2. Two -two. That's a blank. McRae will swing. 1-4 against the righty. He flies out the left. To fly out to left field, that's a second out. Brett's base running rating is a four. On a fly out to left, minus three becomes a one. Left fielder Collins plus one is a two. On a one to two, Brett's going to take third. He does. Brett will hold at third base. He gets it. It was deep enough for him to go to third. So now a wild pitch could score Brett. And, of course, Mayberry stays where he's at, but there are now two outs. Next up for the for the Royals is Tony Saleda. Saleda is one for two, singled and walked. I'm sorry, no. Saleda's 0 for three. He hasn't hit anything yet. He's 0 for three. Saleda's 0 for three. He bats 261. They're going to let him hit. Runners at the corners. Yeah, fun night at the ballpark. Three GI, three, three grounded double plays and a hit by pitch. I know. He's, he's, he's going to have nightmares about tonight, I think. Runners at first and third. Hartzell trying to get out of this jam. Three to two. Am I rolling a strat? Yes, I am. That's a six. Nothing happening. Hartzell will pitch. One, three. That's a walk. That one will walk him, and the bases are loaded. Bases loaded, and here is Frank White. 
White is two for three. He has two singles tonight. I know he bats 229, but you let White hit. He's not somebody you would replace for a pinch hitter. Bases loaded. Royals a chance to tie and or take the lead. Rolling a strat. Six, no. Hartzell will pitch. That's a 3-5. That's a walk. It's a 10. No, White does not walk. He will swing. 3-3. Three, three, fly ball, center field. That's going to get corralled by Torres. He makes the catch. Inning over. A big chance for Kansas City goes by the board. No runs. One hit, a walk, and a hit batter. After eight, still three to two Angels. Don't you just love inside pitch baseball? Jeez. Nothing more exciting, I think. I just I think this is the most exciting game engine you can play. Top of the ninth. Mingori, let's see how many bat how many he can go here. He's got four more batters he can face. Rusty Torres is leading off for the Angels. He he hits lefties better. He hits better from the right side. I'm gonna let him stay out there. Even though only bats 205. Well, let me look at the bench though. It's the ninth inning, so I can bring in anybody off the bench if I want. Torres is in center field. Problem is, if I bring him in, he's got absolutely no range. I'm going to let Torres hit and save it. Maybe, wait, maybe I'll save it for a guy on base. Three to two Angels. Mangori will pitch to Torres. Mangori has four more batters he can face before being tired. Pitch from Mingori, 1-4 against a right-hander switch. That's a blank. Torres will swing, 1-4. Base hit, center field. Good thing I decided to keep Torres in there. He gets a leadoff single. And now here's Mario Guerrero. Guerrero is two for three. He has two singles, infield halfway. Mingori will pitch to... Mingori will pitch to him, or are they going to take him out? Let me see. Right, right, left, left. Got a whole bunch of lefties after a couple of righties. <sighs> see what Kansas City wants to do here. Kansas City is going to take out Mingori. He is going to be done. And coming on to pitch for the Royals will be Mark Liddell. Eight wins, four losses, 16 saves, a 208 ERA. Mark Liddell will be the fourth Royal pitcher. And he'll pitch to Mario Guerrero here. Nobody out. Top of the ninth, three to two. Liddell's job, very simple. Keep it three to two. Am I rolling a strat? Yes. Torres does have a chance to steal on a two or lower. That's a three. A no. Hit and run is available, though, since Guerrero doesn't strike out much. But Torres would be an, would make his stolen base rating an 8. I don't know, hit and run here? He's got good base running ability. you know. And Guerrero's not going to... There's no chance for Guerrero to strike out unless a strikeout plus 10 comes up. I'm going to roll the dice here. I'm going to... Figuratively speaking, we're rolling the dice. We're going to do a hit and run. Liddell will pitch. And that's a 3-4. That's a possible error. Guerrero will swing. That's a 1-6. It's a ground ball to short. That ball is hit to Patek. His error rating is a 10. That's an 8. That's going to be an error on Patek. That is an error on Patek. It's a hit and run. It won't matter, though. Torres, it's automatically a one base error. Patek picks it up, and then he drops it. And it's going to be runners at first and second. Nobody out. Oh, my. E6, and that is the second error on Patek. 
And the third error on the Royals. Holy cow. Patek makes an error on a possible hit and run. Torres does hold it second. It's only a one base error as the error overrides the hit and run. So it's three to two now and nobody out. And Mark Little can't believe it. And here's Terry Humphrey. Humphrey is three for is he is zero for three. Runners at first and second. Infield is halfway. I am rolling a strat. That is a fourteen. Uh, nothing happening. Liddell will go ahead and pitch. Six two. That's at the park. Royal Stadium says 5-5, five, five, and we got a blank. It's a rare play. So let's see what we get on the bases with men on. Rare play. It automatically cancels anything else out. And it's a 2-4. Pitcher develops possible blister on hand. Check for injury to pitcher. The Ro okay, the Royals may have just lost their closer for this. So a possible blister on hand. So I'll go ahead and roll to see. Mark Liddell's injury rating is a one. And he is out of the game on a one or a two. He nope, I'm sorry, he's out of the game if he is he's out of the game on a three or higher. That is a one. No, he's fine. Mark Liddell is fine. It stay he stays in. Sorry, a one to two, he stays in. A three or six, he would have been out. And they say, I want to pitch. So you get to do that again. Oh, boy, what a rare play. What a time for that rare play to come up. That might have just saved Kansas City's bacon right there. Still nobody out. Runners at first and second. We'll do it again. I'm not re-rolling a strat. It's just a new pitch. Linnell will pitch. Three, five. That's an automatic out. Star six. It's a fly out to center. Torres' base running rating is a four. Fly out to center. Minus two is a two. Center fielder for Kansas City is Otis. He has a plus two arm. So a one to four, Torres will take third. He does. It's deep enough, and Torres moves to third base on the fly out to center. And that puts a big run 90 feet away. And there is one out. The batter now is Dave Collins. Collins is 0 for, is 0 for 3. He did walk. What do you do here, Kansas City? You got a pitch to Collins, which they're going to do. Infield is half. I will roll for Strat. And that is a 6. Nothing happening there. Liddell will go ahead and pitch. 5-1. Walk plus 10. That 6 will load the bases. And the bases are loaded again. Second walk for Collins. He trots down to first. And here now is Jerry Remy. Remy is 0 for 1. I'm 0 for 2. Walked twice. Reached on an error. Stole two bases in this game. They're going to let Liddell pitch to him. Still one out. The infield is. Wow, the infield's actually got to come in. A chance on a double play. He only has a one. Minus one is a zero. They got to bring the infield in, which means the only double play chance is home to first. So they will bring in the infield in. Got to avoid the range plays. I will roll strap. Nine, nothing happening. Liddell ready to pitch. Fans here at Royal Stadium want to see a big out. 3-6 against the lefty. It is an automatic out. Question is, where does it go? It's a star three. It's a ground ball to first. It's a grounder to first. Double play rating is 1-0. Is Let's see. Double play rating is a 1-0. And the throw would go to home. They're going to throw home and try to get the double play. So one from here, zero. The infield is in, so there's no play. So there's no chance of a double play. It's a zero. They can't turn a double play. Now Torres' base running rating is a two. So who is out? 
That's the question. So the throw comes, the throw comes on a one to two. On a let's see here. How do we do this here? Hold on. Let me make sure I get this right. Had this before, and I keep on getting confused on the bases loaded. So the infield is in. There's no chance of a double play. He can't do it because it's a one. Minus one is a zero, and the infield in does not give you a double play. So they can't do it on a zero. So Rusty Torres's base running rating is a two. So I treat it like a regular double play roll. So the question is, where did it go? It is a two. Rusty Torres, the throw, that means that the only play was at first base. Rusty Torres will score, and it's four to two Angels. The only play was at first, so Remy is out. There are two outs, but the run does come in to score because the two is under Mario Guerrero is under was under the base running rating. So that means that the play went to the play went to first, and it is now four to two Angels with two outs. Because you treat it like a double play role, even though it was not possible. So coming into score is Torres. Collins the second. Guerrero goes to third. And it's a fielder's choice. And now the batter is Dan Briggs. That's how you do that. Now the infield is back. Now four to two Angels. Royals fans didn't like that. Lydell will go ahead and pitch to Briggs. We'll see. And there is no strat roll now. So Lydell will just go ahead and pitch. And that's a 1-4. Strikeout plus. That 4 will get Briggs. Struck him out. Side retired. One run on one hit. And again, one error. And that run is... That run is unearned. The Angels lead 4-2 to going into the bottom of the ninth. Will we see some ninth inning magic? The Royals need it here. And that is for sure. Bottom of the ninth inning. Freddie Patek is leading off, and he gets some booze here from the Royal Stadium crowd as he's made two errors. Paul Hartzell is coming out. The Angels will go to the closer. Let's see who they're going to bring in here. Hartzell really is their closer. But I do have other choices. Patek is a righty. We got three righties. So I think they're going to go ahead and bring in. For you know what? Forget the bat. Forget the splits. I'm just going to bring in the best pitcher, they, the best bullpen pitcher they have with a good amount. And that's going to be Mickey Scott. Coming on to pitch for the Angels will be Mickey Scott. Three wins, no losses, three saves, a 3-2-3 ERA. He really has the best ERA left in the bullpen with a good amount of relief with the relief appearances. So Mickey Scott's going to try to close this game for the Angels. Freddie Patek is leading off. And let's see, is he going to bat? I think he will. I don't think I have anybody else to bring out in the field. Actually, I do. I'm going to let Patek hit. So Freddie Patek, who wants to redeem himself for making two errors here. And the Angels have scored a, at least a run on every Royal error. What a bad night for Kansas City defense. Scott will pitch. 6-1. That's a blank. Patek will swing. 2-2. Two, two. Pops out to short. Out number one. One man down. And now the batter is Buck Martinez. And I think we may see a new pitcher, a, bat, a batter for him. 
Martinez is one for three, but they're going to take him out and go to a better hitter. And coming on to pinch hit will be Tom Poquette for the Royals, 302 average. He'll come on and pinch hit. Bob Stinson will take over at catcher if necessary. So here's Tom Poquette against Mickey Scott. One out. Scott will go ahead and pitch. Four, six. Error on a grounder. Poquette will swing. Five, two. Star three. That's a ground ball to short. That's it to Guerrero. Guerrero's error rating is an 18. You gotta be kidding me. That's a 20. Mario Guerrero has an 18 error rating, and that is a 20 on the on the dice. He's got it. Throws to first out number two. I don't believe he made that play. And neither do the fans at Royal Stadium either. A 90% chance to make an error on a possible error, and he doesn't do it. What a play by Mario Guerrero to make it. Two outs. And the last chance for the Royals is Jim Wolford. Wolford is 0 for 4. He will bat. Mickey Scott trying to close this game out for the Angels. Wolford trying to maybe keep the game alive. Scott will pitch. 2-5. That's a blank. Wolford will swing. 5-3. Ground ball right back to Scott. Right back to this pitcher. He picks it up. Pumps once. Pumps twice. Throws to first. That's your game. Angels go ahead and change history a little bit. They beat the Royals tonight 4-2. to two. That is the fourth that is the fourth time the Royals have hit a ball right back to the pitcher. They were not hitting hard tonight at all. A very bad night for Royals defense. They commit three errors and the Royals will lose this game 4 to 2. Don't go away. 10 minute ticker and the final line score coming right up. Yeah, it took an improbable error check, but you got it. Who would have thought that would be happening? A ninety percent chance to make an error, and he rolls a twenty. I would let let to, I would let you like I would let to let you guys know when I need to go ahead and check on the D on a D twenty. When I'm checking on an error or a range play on, a, on an error, I'm looking at my book here because I have all the error ratings written down. I do not know what's on the D20 until, uh, until after I look at the error rating. So believe it or not, you guys actually know, okay, if he made an error or not or play before I do. That's why I am surprised that was a 20. I did not know it until I saw it. So in a way... I actually don't know the play, if he makes the play or not, or not, or, or does. For the Angels, four runs on five hits and one error. For the Royals, two runs on nine hits and three errors. Paul Hart Hartzell, Paul Hartzell is going to get the win for this game. Marty Patton will take the loss, and Scott will go ahead and get the save. So that's it for the game. Let's get prepared. 
It is now time for the 10-minute ticker brought to you by Fast Score Baseball of Replay Sports. So California actually wins a game they lost, and you can take a look and see how Kansas City actually had a better chance to win this, but California comes away with the win. That's why these games – so probably this would have been a win for Kansas City on the ticker. That's why these games on the board are important, and the games on the board do matter. I do keep track of the teams, how well they do on the board, and I use them as a tiebreaker for seeding if necessary. If there's a tie for seeding, games on the board will break that tie. So let's go here. June 27, Cleveland taking on Baltimore on a doubleheader. Game one, Cleveland has a 10. 33, and that is three. Baltimore has an eight. 63, they're going to win that. That's six to three win for the Orioles. Game two, Cleveland has a 10. 35, and that is a, that's four runs this time. Baltimore has a nine. A 15, they're going to split that. That's going to be a 4-1 to win there. Detroit taking on Boston. Detroit has an 11. 61, that's a good roll. That's seven runs for the Tigers. Boston, though, has a 19. An 11 is not going to matter. That's one run. Detroit will beat the Red Sox, much to Salvador America's chagrin when he checks. California, of course, won the game. Milwaukee and the Yankees have a doubleheader. Game one, Milwaukee has a seven. 42, that's three runs. Yankees have a 12. 46, and they will win that game five to one. As the Yankees continue to own the American League East. Game two, Milwaukee has a two. 24, that's only one run. Yankees will probably win this one. They got a 20. 24. Yep, that's going to be four runs. So the Yankees win both games from the Brewers. Minnesota taking on Oakland. The top two teams in the AL West. Minnesota has a 14. That's a 15, and that is two runs. Oakland has a 12. 66. That's going to be 10 runs. Oakland will beat the Twins. White Sox against the Rangers. White Sox have an 8. 25. That's two. Texas has a 13, 23, and that is three. The Rangers will beat the White Sox. My Mets taking on the Cubs. My Mets are just not getting any 10-minute ticker luck. Craig Swan on the mound for my Mets. They got a 10. And another lousy dang roll. An 11, that's a zero. Cubs got a nine. They get a 16. That's going to be good enough to give them a 2-0 win. No happy recap there. Cincinnati taking on Houston. The Reds have a 13. 26. And that is three runs for the big red machine. The Astros have a 7. 64. They're going to win this one. A win for the Astros. 7-3. Giants playing the Dodgers. The Giants have a 5. 34, and that is two runs. The Dodgers have a 15, 55. They'll win this one with a seven, so the Dodgers win that game. Pittsburgh taking on Montreal. Pittsburgh has an 11. 43, that's four. Montreal has a six, 12, and that is zero. So the Pirates will win. Cardinals taking on Philadelphia. St. Louis with a six. 61, that's a good roll, that's 5. The Phillies, though, have a 15. 42, and that is also that is also 5, so we got extras. St. Louis's clutch is a minus 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0. Philadelphia has a minus 4 clutch. 6 minus 4 is 2, they're going to win it, believe it or not, they do. So that is a that's two runs that goes to the Phillies. They will win the game seven to five. Atlanta taking on the Padres. Atlanta with a 10. 34, and that is three. And the Padres have a six. 44. 
And that's a four. The Padres will beat the Braves. Moving on to June 28th, Baltimore at Boston. Baltimore has a 10. 33. That's three runs. The Red Sox have a seven. 63. They'll go ahead and win that. Six to three. Milwaukee taking on Cleveland. Milwaukee with a 10. 46. That's five. Cleveland has a nine. 34. And that's three. Milwaukee will beat the Indians this time. Yankees against Detroit. The bird is on the mound for the Tigers. Yankees have a seven. 35. And that is three runs. Mark Fedrich had a 10. 24. No, two runs. The Yankees will beat the Tigers again. And all the Yankees are doing are just winning. Kansas City taking on Minnesota. Kansas City as a 13. They get a 51, and that is 6. Minnesota has a 12. 41, and that is 4. The Royals will win. Oakland against the Rangers. Oakland with a 12. 21, and that is 2. Texas has an 11. A 55 will win it for them. That is 6. Rangers will beat the Athletics. Atlanta taking on the Dodgers. Atlanta has a 6. 14. That's one run. Dodgers have a 10. 35. And that is four runs. Dodgers will win. Philadelphia taking on Montreal. Philadelphia has a 13. 16. And that is two runs. The Expos only have a two. A 41. And that is also two runs. So we got extras between these two. Philadelphia's clutch minus four. So a one minus four is a negative three. Montreal's clutch is a zero. They can't lose. So a one, that's going to be four. So I'm going to add four runs to the Expos, and they will win this game six to two as they will beat the Phillies. Cardinals and the Mets. My Mets are just, I my, the dice are really killing me. Cardinals have a three. And a 64 on a three. That gives them six runs. The Mets have a six with Seaver on the mound. I need a 62 or higher to tie or win. Nope, not even close. 25, 25, and that is going to be two runs and another loss for my Mets. We are, I, I, they're just, I, they'll tell you, rigged. Cubs taking on Pittsburgh. Cubs have an 18. 62. We have this game tomorrow, by the way. And I'm sorry, the Cubs have an 8. I'm sorry. That's an 8. 62. And that is six runs. Pittsburgh has a 17. 11. And that is going to be one run. The Cubs will beat the Pirates. Reds taking on the Padres. Reds have a 16. 61. And that's 8. Padres have a 10, 63, that's 7. The Reds will beat the Padres. Houston taking on the Giants. The Astros have a 14, a 66. You can't do any better than that. That's 11 runs. The Giants, though, have a 15, a 66 is the only way they can tie. No, 45, and that's going to be six runs. And the Astros win two games tonight for Steeler fan. And my Mets right now are in some deep doo-doo here in the midway part of the season. That's all for your 10-minute ticker. If your team won tonight, congratulations. If they didn't, there's always tomorrow. Before you guys go, I have a question to ask. Before you guys go, I have a question to ask. Um. I know I've still been going ahead and playing some hockey. I am going to go ahead and continue some uh, inside the crease. But there's another game I do like. It's a game that I digest or played. I don't know if you guys have any problem with me streaming this game if you guys want to watch me play it. Marvel Champions, the card game. Um, I have everything for this set. I have everything for it. And I really like playing this game. I play it offline a lot. 
Would any of you guys have any? It, would any of you guys be interested in watching me play this? I can get set up where you can watch the game being played. So, would anyone have any issues with this? I know I do sports and stuff, but would anybody have any issues with Marvel Champions if I stream some of these games? All right, some of the uh, you know stream you know if anybody if anybody likes the if anybody likes any of these things here. So, I'm just wondering if you guys wouldn't have an issue with this. If you do, just, you know, if you don't want me to stream it, I won't, okay? That's not a problem. I'll continue playing offline since I usually just do. I mean, you know, but um, I like this game a lot. It's a lot of fun, and it's always and it's always different. So you never know how the game's going to turn out, all right? So, you know, leave a, leave a thing in the comments. You know, I'll let you guys think about it. But I like the game a lot, and I have every expansion for it. So it would, you know... You know, so I'm just wondering, you know, for it. For those that may be interested, that'd be great. If not, you know, you'll let me know. I'll let you guys decide if you want to stream. Because I really would like to have people watch this, you know, besides, you know, any just me just be doing it. Because I like doing it offline, all right? And I know you know, I'm no problem streaming. I'm not interested. But, yeah, like I said, I might get some Marvel fans. But, you know, or Fantasy Flight, who makes the game. So... I was just asking to see if you guys wouldn't mind me doing that. Anyway, Steeler, and don't forget tomorrow night, our game tomorrow will be the Chicago Cubs taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates. It'll be Steve Renko against John Candelaria. It's the final game of the month of June. Then I'll take the day off, and then we'll start July. Remember, also next week will be the 1976 All-Star Game. That will be done, just like I did the 85 from last year in payoff pitch. It'll be an inside pitch 1976 All-Star game, utilizing the rosters from the actual game. So the All-Star game will be done, and that will be definitely be next week, I'm pretty sure, late in the week. Steeler fan, Bob's Tabletop Sports, Tribe fan, My Basement Media Productions, Bob B. Uh, let's see here, G. Puck. Salvador America, Brian Patterson, Michael Peterson, Peter Bird. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out through the turnstiles. Subscribe if you've not done so and make sure you hit the bell. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong. We'll see you guys later. A win for the Angels tonight, 4-2. to two. We'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Take care.